Hello everyone, GaffTheMaster974 here again today and welcome to a hammer tutorial. Um, this is going to be episode 0 because this can be done pretty much before any of the other hammer tutorials that are on the channel. And I'm showing off something called Hammer++. Plus Plus. Now I recently came across this in the month of April and it is basically an updated version of the hammer editor which can be used for the games that I'm going to outline here. So Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Team Fortress 2, Counter-Strike Source, and the Source SDK 2013 single player and multiplayer. Um, it can work in Gary's mod, and there's a tutorial on that, so I'm not going to go into that. Uh, Portal 2, which you need the CSGO version, and again, there's another tutorial for that. Left 4 Dead 2 kind of works in the CSGO version. Uh, the map based mods which I've mentioned before on the channel that's the 2013 single player and a mod called momentum is likely to work using the CSGO version so if you highlight any of these you see there's a .zip download so if you click on it it downloads a .zip folder and then you just go into the zip folder extract the files and then copy and paste them to your games bin directory so I'm in portal and so I would have downloaded the SDK 2013 single player because Portal's a single player game. And this would work in Half-Life 2 as well. And um, just copy and paste the Hammer++ contents here. So you see there's the regular Hammer editor and we've got Hammer++ here. So before I go into Hammer++, I'm just going to go on to the features here because some of this is actually pretty impressive. So there's a real time lighting preview that you can use to basically see how lighting looks in your map. There's the ability to create instances on the fly from selection, um, instance preview, uh, color picker for lights using RGB, HSV, uh, real time 3D skybox preview. So that's uh, awesome, especially if you're, you know, got a 3D skybox that's very finicky and you want to get precise placements, that's a uh, very good, a very good aspect of this. Um, the ability to turn off tooled textures, again, helpful for a, a line in a 3D skybox. Um, overlay face preservation, got the amount of times I've had to go into overlays and select faces that they're supposed to be on. Um, particles, real time particle rendering, glows, 2D skybox preview, uh, render effects preview. Fog preview, light map improvements, there's a 3D grid, 3D editor text, uh, material proxy, so any material that has scrolling that renders in real time as well. Um, gizmos that remind me of Unity, so you see there, um, pivots as well, and sprinkle tools and polygon tools, physics tools, coordinate tools, vertex tool, you know, reworking merge tool. Model browser, texture browser, particle browser, custom key bindings, uh, new compile window. There's all sorts of good stuff that's uh, in Hammer++. So let's get into showing you some of this. So you'd go into Hammer++ like so. And because it recognizes it's the Portal game engine, it's either Portal or Half-Life 2. So I'm going to say let's go into Portal. And I'm going to load up a stock map. So I'm in... Well, I'm using Half-Life 2 maps here. And let's go for Train Station 02. This is where we get the Citadel. And we see the uh, Citadel for the first time in Half-Life 2. And if I show you this window, then you can actually bake the lighting in the scene. That's one of the options that you can do uh, with one of the cameras in the 3D camera. Um, so this is the 3D lighting preview, I believe. And you get this window asking if you want to bake the scene or not. And if I just escape out of that and go down, then you can see that, yeah, the shadows look a little shit, but it's a realistic sort of preview of what the lighting is going to look like in your map. And of course, it goes without saying, if you want the shadows to look better, then you have to decrease the looks or scale. It's one of those where a lower number means the shadows look better, but then the map size is going to be larger I guess and VRAD has got a little bit extra work to do just to make the shadows look nice um, but this is what I was talking about with the tool textures you see there's skybox textures here all you have to do is click on um, show tool textures boop all of them goes away 
and there's also the no draw specific one that was in the regular hammer editor so you can toggle no draw independently and you can toggle all of the other tool textures independently as well like triggers and clips and skip brushes and all that but the real good thing i want to show you is if we go over outside of here and um, i select all of this then if i go enter then that's all of the 3d skybox you see the citadel in the skybox as well or the geometry that's in there and i'm going to go tools and then create instance from selection and let's just say this is skybox.vmf. So that is an instance now. So instances work properly in the Hammer Editor. And all I need to do is click this little button here. And we have a real time 3D skybox preview. And along with the disable uh, tool textures, then you can see pretty much the 3D skybox accurately as well. So that is pretty nice if I say so myself. It's a very, very handy feature. So again, a combination of show the skybox and sh disable the tool textures. You can see how the 3D skybox is going to look inside of your map. And um, you can also disable and enable the fog as well. That's uh, right next to the, uh, you know, disable and enable tools. Um, so there's that, um, you can just get a wise up close, you can see there's material scrolling, so that's an example of that in action. Um, so if I go into a different map, um, what was another good one, the coast maybe, coast 12, and that's the uh, level before you get to Nova Prospect. Again, you can just do a full bake of this and get accurate lighting of the map. And you can go all the way up here. This is where you'd go into Nova Prospect. And you can see the fog. And you can see just everything, really. Um, but this is an example of um, ropes. As you can see, instead of just being a wireframe, it's an actual textured rope for, well, rope entities, basically. So, again, you get real-time uh, rope previews. So you can toggle the simulation of that. And I don't think it's going to do anything in this case because of the uh, settings of the ropes. Um, so again, if you want to do anything involving ropes, then you can just uh, use that now. And that's uh, a lot better, a lot better to use. And so let's go into um, the particle system editor. So info particle system, you can just select that. Alt enter particle system name, we go browse and we have access to all of these particle systems. So these are the portal ones um, specifically. So you can choose whichever ones you want to use. You get a preview obviously and then go from there I guess. So I've never seen this one, red blast. So oops, if I go apply on that, then yeah, I think the only downside is there's no real-time preview of the particle system in action inside the editor. But, oh, yeah, did it even select it? What the hell did I just do? Maybe it does and I've just done the wrong thing. But yeah, Red Blast, never saw that in a... Oh, there we go, it does it, real-time preview. So yeah, don't ignore me, I'm talking crap. This is actually awesome. But yeah, for whatever reason, that's something that's in Portal 1. You might not have known that, but it is. So what that is supposed to be, when you're supposed to use it, I don't know, but looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So real-time preview of particle systems inside the editor. And of course, water scrolling, well, I'm sure the water, some material on the water scrolls sometimes. Um, so yeah, that, that's just an introduction to Hammer++. Plus Plus. You can use it for Portal, Half-Life 2, Portal 2, Left 4 Dead 2, many different games. And I'm just going around showing you at least some of the things I've talked about earlier and how good this actually is to use. Um, yeah, I don't know what other maps to show you, to be honest with you. Um, uh, Canals 06, why not? And full bake, so we get to see all of the lighting in all its glory of this map. Looks pretty, pretty good. 
Um, so yeah, you're going to get the G-Man. Also, it even does that, the G-Man screen. It does that accurately. So that's pretty nice to see. So yeah, I'm just giving you a feel for what this is like. And uh, if you want to use this, then you're more than welcome to download it for free from hammerplusplus.com or whatever the site is. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoy what you see from this. And yeah, I'll be using Hammer Plus Plus from now on as well, instead of the regular ass Hammer Editor. But yeah, see, Skybox Preview looking exactly as it should. I could also do the same thing with the 3D Skybox, get a preview of that. You can see the fog is acting exactly as it's supposed to. So that is pretty much all I'm going to showcase from this. Um, you can investigate the Polygon tool and the Sprinkle tool, the Physics tool. Maybe some of the different um, cameras that you can use so as just the regular textures or the uh, uh, shaded texture polygons. There's many different things you can do. Experiment with some of these different uh, parameters as well. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I really need to say about Hammer Plus Plus. Check it out, it's definitely worth uh, looking into if you're a hammer mapper like I am sometimes. And um, I actually think I'm going to do a couple Portal 2 tutorials next. Um, and then maybe go back to Portal Half-Life 2 stuff. Just because there's some interesting things in Portal 2 that you can do. So yeah, that's going to be this tutorial. Check out Hammer++ Plus Plus, everyone, it's a great tool. Shout out to the developer. And thank you for checking out this video at least. And so I hope to see you for whatever I decide to do next. So yeah, take care out there.